About a year ago, Google rolled out Google Profiles, and it really didn't get a lot of traction or interaction or even much notice. But you would want to go in and check it out again. The address for that is profiles.google.com, and it's just been updated. Let's take a look at how to view our profiles. These will be connected with our either our Google account, our Gmail, etc. So here's my profile and I've already filled in a little bit of information on the old profile so it has this information on the right hand side of all my accounts. You'll notice that what is different now is that there is a scrapbook of photos across the top and in the introduction I can add in additional information, I can include various details about my job, where I'm employed, and any education I've had, along with any places where I'm saying that I live, work, phone numbers, and all sorts of different information. You'll also see that my Google Buzz shows up in here as well, and that's hidden inside of my Gmail. I can now sort by posts, comments, likes, and I could get in to see my followers here. So. Here's my comments and my likes. I could click on this comments area and sort through all of my buzz things based on my comments. If I also know the, the name of somebody else that I want to go and interact with, or if I click on their name, it would take me over to their profile. So if I were, as I'm scrolling through, clicking on somebody's name, it would take me to take a look at their profile, see the introduction, I could see a lot of different information that's listed inside of this, and I could jump over to see just their buzz. So um, I would see if they're following me back, and I could choose to follow them. Uh, so that's just an interesting way of making use of the profile space. Let's go back to my own profile. And take a look at how to edit this. If I click on Edit Profile in this top right corner, I could do various things with the Buzz page, so I could uncheck certain information here. I could change my photo and upload a new one, and where it says About, in this case, if I were to click on any one of these images, it would allow me to delete a photo if I wanted to and browse to upload new ones. I think that looks good for now, so I will click OK. And then further below, any of these things that you don't have filled out, just simply by clicking on them, you would be able to modify them, change out your information, such as places that you've worked. Um, again, it's interesting because it's pulling in pieces of Facebook and pulling in other pieces of LinkedIn. So we'll see how that turns up. But what you would want to do in filling all of this out, set your custom URL. Also, you could see on the right-hand side, I have all of the accounts that I maintain. If I click on any one of these, I can I can go in to edit any one of these things just by naming it and adding in my link to my profile here. And if I think that that's good, that's great. Further below, I could add in either more custom links or Google says, hey, we found some other things that are linked in that we think might be you. So they can recognize some of that information. Some of them I already have listed and it's just suggesting it to me twice. But that's how to include all of the information about your Google profiles. The reason that that would become important is because more and more Google is tying it in with social search. So if I were to do a search for something like best time to update social media, meaning all of our social media accounts, as I look through this, I might see in my search results some of the Twitter information. So um, here I would look and see various things. You know, here's just kind of the ongoing list of different information. And then if on the right hand or the left hand side, if I went to real time, that would actually tell me tweets that are being posted. And sometimes those tweets are being integrated not just inside of this real-time feed but also on the main Google profile page or the main search page. So you want to get in and make sure that you do update this information. Make sure that you're you're sharing the most relevant things from your own sites but also know that when you integrate your profile that profile then gives Google permission to pull that information inside the Google search results. So do see how that plays out. Get that information set up on your profile today and make use of that as a great way to help you turn up in the Google search results.